People say that depression is, you know, thinking back to the past and anxiety is worrying about the future. Well, when, when you're in the absolute present moment, nothing can touch you. My name is Jane Curl and I'm an artist living on the Gold Coast. If I didn't do art, I would do something else creative, but it just happens that art has become the thing to, to get the emotions out. I had postnatal depression uh, after my daughter was born. It was just an overwhelming sense of being stressed all the time. I ended up going on antidepressants. When we decided to become pregnant again, I was concerned I would feel like this again and how, how would I cope? We decided to, to go for it and then finally we did get pregnant. Around about the 19 or 20 week scan we found out that there was major things wrong. Lauren uh, had four heart defects and two spinal defects. They could only find one kidney. She, she died at six months and I gave birth to her. I decided, right, that's it. I don't want her death to be in vain. I'm going to make the most of things and I'm going to get out there and do the things I've always said I'm going to do. And one of them was taking an art class. Now it's, it has become my life. The thing I love the most is just having a total blank canvas and then I don't know what happens, but I, I seem to open up to something. I just have this urgency about me. I can't, I can't get the paint on quick enough. You go somewhere different and, and going somewhere different is a good thing when you're not feeling good. The Arts and Minds campaign, I think, is a fantastic way of raising awareness. If I can get my story across and help even one person, it, you know, it's a good thing. My daughter is absolutely thrilled that um, I've been chosen from, you know, over 150 artists. She's my best critic, <laughs> actually. Yeah, she'll come, come and tell me, oh no, that bit's a bit too dark, Mum, or you need, you know, you need to soften that bit. And she loves seeing what I produce. Yeah, she really likes it.